Hello everyone, it's I, Pioneer, with another figure review slash unboxing video. This time we're finally doing one of the other fig Dragon Ball figure sets that I have. This right here is the Dragon Dragon Star series of uh, Dragon Ball figures. This right here is a battle pack, meaning it's a two for one figure set, meaning two characters battling each other out. This right here is Super Saiyan Gohan and the new character Gamma One from the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie. This right here is probably one of the bigger figure box I've had in like in a long time because it's a dual pack series. Uh what's called with two different characters with a little bit more accessories, generally speaking with this. And not gonna lie, I really do like this um Dragon Star series. These compared to the Dragon Ball Wall figures that I've been reviewing previously, Dragon Ball figures, they're around three to four inches. These guys right here are six inch figures, so they're almost full figure sets. But with that out of the way, let's go with the unboxing of the figures. And we're back, and before, you know, we start this uh, unboxing video, I kind of want to show you uh, the difference between a battle pack and a regular box set. So this battle pack right here is pretty big and whatnot, and this right here is the regular size for a regular uh, box set for these figures. And you can see the difference between the sizes, between this right here, it takes like two boxes right here, almost two boxes. So like this is the regular one figure versus the battle pack, which is two. So these guys are pretty figure and way more expensive, because the Dragon Star series are generally 20 bucks. This right here is technically a $40, uh, $40 box figure set that I got on Amazon for what's it called? 20 bucks figure set was on, uh, on sale and whatnot at Amazon, which is always good for me. I'm trying to get things on deals. But now let's go with the unboxing of this right here, which should be from the top side because I see tape. And was the always trust the uh, X-Acto knife? See right here. Should be able to open that, no problem at all. Take out tape from the sides. Side one. Side two. It's a little bit uh, it's a little bit damaged on the box art. Just the other thing too. Technically, I did order this online, so it's always going to be damaged. And generally speaking, you slide these out. Ooh. Box right there. Actually, that's a little bit of a cover side. Ooh, I actually kind of like that. I might actually use that as a display. Then we have the regular box art here, and then we have the characters how they look in the anime, which actually is pretty nice. Like I've mentioned before, Gohan is probably one of my favorite characters. So getting a Gohan figure, another full-size Gohan figure is always going to be great. So I'm going to put the display right here on the back side because I like the art. It's just all cloudy and whatnot because they technically do fight the sky. And then here are the figures outside right now. Overall, uh, looking pretty good. Detail work is pretty nice. Now let's get the characters out. And this might be a little bit hard because <sighs> try to get these a little bit more. Sorry for the camera. Sorry for the camera view. We gotta unbox these guys. Oh, and we already. And that's already not nice. Oh no, Gamma One's already been taken out. They always make it difficult. Not gonna lie, they always make it difficult. Oh, Gamma One, no. Don't worry about it. I'm... Oof. Don't worry. He's on a peg piece. He can, can just be slotted back in. So let's put it back. And should be back. Oh, no. That better not be broke. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. That, that, might, that might not be broke. Oh. Well, some people might be saying you might want to get your return on this because apparently your figure probably broke. That's not good. Oh, oh so bad. Oh, wait, no. We have this. Oh, oh no. Well, that's, uh, we'll repair, we'll figure out how to repair that guy in a bit. Let's hope for, let's hope, okay, I'm going to do Gohan a little bit more. Careful. Come on, Gohan. Oh. Okay. So, good news. Gohan's fine. What's a cold? That's the A part. Then again, out of all the characters, I, I, I mainly bought this just for so I can get Gohan. So, didn't really care too much about Gamma 1. But, oh, that still hurts. I was not, ex well, out of two figures, one's still okay. The other one. Not. Oh, that's gonna be bad. 
and let's get the remaining accessories which are the hand pieces which I have now fallen over oh this is already partial disaster and already the my stand site it's already all destroyed and whatnot but that's fine you know what that's fine Whew. so let's go with uh, Gohan first since he's the only one still intact and overall pretty nice character looks pretty nicely designed all the detail works pretty good facial features is great and overall pretty nice uh gamma one is uh broken uh oh wait no there we go we fixed gamma one right now so apparently the torso can be fixed i just uh have to reattach uh his waist and whatnot uh it's a good thing it's able to reattach because i was uh, worried for a second that this thing was not going to be able to reattach so let's just uh try to reattach this as it should waist right here uh let's go backwards or forwards this is the left side or right side okay this is the right side okay wait are you sure okay so let's reattach them and let's hope for the best come on let's hope i don't break this this is already terrible is he not able to attach i had him reattached Wait, is this good? Wait, does this go like this? Waist right here. That is just terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Like, like I am trying, folks. Like, legit I am. I do apologize. What's a cold? Uh, because he's able to go fine. Like, put him back on here. Like, he's great. Like, he's missing his side skirt and his waist pad. Uh, what's a cold? I mean, the character looks great. What's a cold? Though, I kind of feel like they're probably miscalculating on the waist and whatnot. Because I'm trying my hardest to re-put it back up. But, what's a cold? It's blocking it. Uh, what's a cold? Okay, uh, uh, we'll be right back first. I'm going to do a quick fix interval. Okay, we're back from the quick fix interval. So, uh, duly noted... Uh, when you're open, uh, when you're opening this box up between uh, Go uh, Gohan and uh, Gamma One box set, be careful because he will pop out. Uh, very quick, simple fix. The only thing I had to do was hold down the skirt and the belt together and just pop him back in, and boom, he was fixed back up. I didn't want to take too much time off the video, or whatnot, but figures back up and he's doing pretty well. So, uh, careful, uh, just a careful when you're opening this up. He will probably dismount, but you can put him back up, no problem at all. And going with Gamma 1, the character is looking pretty well. Detail work is fine. Sculpting is pretty good. All the paint works pretty fine. Backside, uh, everything else. The cape is actually very rubbery, so it's not that bad at all. Then we have his uh, beam gun right there, or laser gun. I forget what it's called. And it looks pretty nice. Uh, what's it called? That's his accessory right there. Uh, what's it called? If it can stand. There we go. Come on, just stand right there. There we go. Um, besides Gohan, Gohan also comes with his own accessory, which is a plasma effect right here, which actually looks pretty nice. Probably goes effect when he goes into Kamehameha, Kamehameha, which I'm assuming this attaches the fingers somewhat like so. Yeah, there we go. I think it attaches right there. Oh, looking pretty nice. That's actually not bad. So, so I'm assuming the thing has an indent right there where the fingers can just go in and hold it. So when he does the attack, he's able to hold it and do the attack. Actually, that's not bad at all. Looking pretty good. Okay, and then the last of the accessories are the hands, because usually this, these figures always come with hands. So right here we have the other open palm hand for Gohan right here, and the other closed hand for the right and left hand right here. So take off the hand right there, put on the right fist, take off the one from the left hand, have the other open palm hand, so not bad at all. And then Gamma 2, have the right trigger hand for him, and then the closed fist hand right here for him. So overall not bad. But now, going from the accessories for the character, and I do apologize for that as well, uh, let's go with the articulation for both of them. We're back, and you know what? We're going to start with Gamma 1 first, because what's called he gave us the most trouble. Uh, it's just, I just wanted to make sure people uh, want to see this. The character's not that terrible. Let's go first things first. They would rotate his head, no problem at all. Bob and weave, pretty good, no problem at all. His arms able to go all the way up, not bad at all. All the way down, spin around, rotate. Uh, let's do the rotate right there. Rotate. 
See, we're going to bend, as this guy right here, I'm pretty sure, has a double bowl joint, or double uh, joint on the arm. 10, see if it rotate, no problem at all. And go up and down. I'll just go with that rotate again, because I think I missed that. See, we're going to bend up and down. As the beam, as his uh, laser gun right there. Are all pretty nice. And that's what you always want with your figures. Go in there. Uh, see, if it rotates, uh, as we've already seen. Uh, he can rotate, and he just came off again. Yeah. Come on, we just had you on there. There we go. Uh, a little tricky on this. So when you twist him, he probably will pop off. And I do apologize for everybody's here that those are the road runners outside for any of that. Say with a uh, well, once again the skirt. Once again, we have a figure that where the skirt just goddamn blocks because he can't do the split. If I take off the skirt, he's able to do it because we already saw it in the beginning when I kind of did the hole when he broke apart and whatnot. Uh, what's it called? His leg is able to go up. Because of the skirt, the leg is blocking it. He's able to do the general poses if you remove the skirt or whatnot. But he's only able to go all the way up, all the way back. He's able to bend his leg all the way, single joint. What's it called? Feet right here, up and down, twist around, left and right, no problem at all, bend up and down, we're all pretty nice. He's able to do articulation as long as you remove the belt and the, and the side skirt, because we already saw that beforehand, he's able to do it, but with the skirt on and whatnot, it kind of hinders his uh, leg movement or whatnot, but still pretty able to good. I kind of feel like if you do some cutting or whatnot to make the skirt look kind of like more open, kind of like for some of the Gundam ones, uh, he should be able to have more articulation. Now going from Gamma 1, now let's go with Gohan and Super Saiyan 1. Overall, let's do an overview of the character once more. Our looks up and down, looking pretty nice. Back and forth, pretty nice. Now going from the head, he's able to go up and down, he's able to bob and weave. Spin around, no problem at all. Arm able to go up, down, rotate around. His arms able to rotate, bend all the way, back there, he's able to spin his hand right there, no problem at all, and he's able to put his wrist up and down, so he's able to move that, so no problem at all, and we have waist, he's able to spin his waist, there's no problem, he's able to do, he's able to do almost split right there, not bad at all. He's able to move his leg all the way up, all the way in the back that way, and the leg is kind of blocked right there. But he's able to do that. His knee, able to bend all the way. Not too much, but he's able to get there. Then we have feet, which can go bob and weave, turn around, not bad at all. Articulation is pretty great. Overall, both figures' articulation is pretty good. Is what you expect for these figures, because you want to move around. Uh, you guys want because these figures are mainly meant to play around with, to move around, and you know to just have fun. So overall, articulation is pretty great. Uh, let's do some size comparisons with other stuff that I have around, and we're back. Okay, now let's go with some size comparisons of the characters that I do have. Starting off with some other of the Dragon Star series that I do have, starting with Super Saiyan Four, Vegeta. And Super Saiyan 1, I'm pretty sure Super Saiyan 1, uh, uh Trunks, uh, what's called for both, uh, well, Trunks being from Dragon Ball Super and Vegeta from GT. These figures are around 6 or 7 inches because what's called in comparison. Comparison to other stuff that I have, it's like, it's been questioning my measurements and I really need to get myself a goddamn ruler. <laughs> or a measuring tape, because I sound I found one. Going from the Dragon Star series I do have, let's go with the Dragon Ball Evolve figures that I've recently reviewed. With uh, Ultra Instincts Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Overall, the uh, Dragon Star series are slightly taller. God damn Vegeta, just stay still, please. I've been having trouble with all my figures trying to stand up right now. It was the uh, Now let's go with the, a little bit of review into these guys. With what's called Dragon Ball figures being slightly smaller. I think the Dragon Ball figures are probably around 4 or 5 inches. Where the Dragon Star figures are around 5 to 6. Five, I'm not five, uh, six to seven inches because I've been recently reading some things and it's like, huh, am I wrong with my measurements? 
Now going from the Dragon Ball Evolve figures that I do have. We're going to go with my only Figma that I have at the moment. Because the other ones are currently in other, other shelvings right now. So I can't grab them. Is my Jolter right here. Oops, sorry about that. Let's move Jolter over here. Next to right here, Jolter is around the same size as the Dragon Ball Wolf figures, around four to five inches, where the Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Star figures are what's called around six to seven inches. I, like I said, I need to get measuring tape or a ruler. I really do not have one, which is kind of a sad point of this. And then last, last not but not least, is the always favorite Gundam Estrella custom. The main channel star right here and mascot. And this is also why I was saying it's like I really need to check my measurements because it's called usually uh, Gundam figures are around five to six inches. Though my, apparently my stress is coming a little bit short. So that's why I was saying like I didn't really need a measuring tape. But overall, figures are pretty nicely uh, uh, figures are pretty nicely in their size and whatnot. And I mean they need to be. For these are technically uh, playing figures that you can play around with. But now let's go with the final thoughts. And we're back with final thoughts. And overall, uh, this figure size is actually pretty nice. Uh, the figures are great. No, the sculpting for the characters are great and all that. Do not fall, please, Gamma. Uh, sculpting is great. Uh, color works all great. Accessories are pretty nice. Uh, they would like less in some stuff. I was hoping for, because this thing technically does cost like almost 40 bucks. Though I did get mine on a, on a half deal on it where I paid only 20 so it's not that bad. But I was hoping for like a little bit more accessories, maybe some more, uh, uh, you know, effects like how Gohan has his, like a little bit more different kinds of effects, and maybe more accessories with the hands and whatnot. But overall, it's still pretty nice. Figures are great. Uh, all the, like I said before, sculpting detail work is all great and all that. The freak, the posability accessories are great. Uh, articulation still good. We're going on. The only thing I will knock down is uh, when I was unboxing Gamma One, uh, which you'll see in the video earlier on. Uh, he did fall apart. He's able to be put back together, but it's the thing of be careful when you're like moving the torso and whatnot what because the skirt, uh, his like flap, his flappy skirt and belt waist really does hinder his waist and all that. And you try to twist that around, it's going to fall apart. Is able to be put back with no problem at all, just what's called something that might happen. Happened with mine, so might happen with yours. But overall, still a great figure set. I would recommend it. Uh, I still recommend it still, what's it called? Just know uh, every Binus, uh, that store is one I will probably be at full price of 40 But if you get this online at one night, you'll probably get maybe a half deal score, maybe at 30 or maybe at, what's it called, 20 bucks like I did on mine. But with that out of the way, that is the figure review of the Dragon Ball Super Battle Pack of Super Saiyan Gohan and Gamma 1 from the Dragon Ball Super Superhero Movie. Uh, thank you for watching. Anybody, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'd always appreciate it. And as always, folks, uh, have a nice day. Desire Power and Saying Out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.